It's not easy being me we'll Wash your face and brush your hair we'll Nag, 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 it's just not fair I'm horrid Henry Sometimes we're school, I'm gonna rule And when I'm king, I'll do my thing And then my life will be so sweet I'm horrid Henry Na, 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 na The purple hand gang rules, okay well, It's so easy being me I'm horrid Henry to ask him for a million pounds. A parrot, a motorbike, a swimming pool, a trampoline, uh... What about you, Peter? I'm still choosing. It's Christmas Eve. You'd better hurry. <coughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. <coughs> Toy never! On a board! To the Henry, get down! <laughs> Most kind. And what do you want for Christmas? Um, I would like a dictionary, some seeds, a geometry kit, and stamps, please. No toys. I've got plenty already, thanks. What about me? What about my presents? Well, we'll see about that. Great! When grown ups say we'll see, that always means yes! Help tidy up. Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve will be here any minute. Why did they have to come for Christmas? Aunt Ruby only ever gives me socks. I know. Maybe you could try being nicer to Steve. I hate Cousin Steve. You want to know why I hate Cousin Steve? This is my house. This is Steve's house. This is my paddling pool. This is Steve's paddling pool. I think you get the picture. Henry, help your mother, please. Me too! And that's just from Mother. Santa's bringing the rest. If he has any room after all mine! Boys, why don't you go outside and uh, see who can build the biggest snowman? Huh? What? Look! Mine's bigger than yours already! Play. 
Not a snowman. Yes, snowmen don't have wings. <gasps> now it looks more like a snowman. Hey, he's my brother. Oh, but thanks, Henry. So I get to break it. Specially made. <gasps> Mum, oh, we've forgotten the mince pie and milk for Santa. Uh, coming right up. I wish tomorrow would come now. Why? So you can watch me open all the presents you wish you had. Christmas is about giving, not receiving. Silence, worm! If you're nice, I might possibly let you have a go with my galactic goo shooter. No, thank you. I'll have my own. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Open the presents. Hooray! Here, this one's for you. Oh, for Henry. Fax machine? This is supposed to be a galactic goo shooter. That's odd. I got that fax for your dad. What's this? A joke? And I got that for you. Cello music. <laughs> but I don't play the cello. Oh, a dried flower arrangement. Just what I always wanted. Wasn't that for Aunt Ruby? What's this? Yes! I got a boom boom basher! Hey, that's not fair! I wanted one of those! Someone must have switched the labels. Do you think I wanted a fax machine? The labels have been switched, Henry. Can you tell us how that happened? No, I really can't! Then who did it? Santa! Santa must have got all muddled up! Yes, it must have been Santa! 
But why would Santa give us the wrong presents? I suppose Santa must have been so busy he mixed them all up. Oh, silly Santa. <laughs> well, we'll just have to be Santa's helpers and work out whose present is whose. Oh, but I love my presents. <laughs> I suppose I could learn to play the cello. I could teach you, Aunt Ruby. Here, Henry, you have this thing. Wow! Thanks, Mum! Hey, that's mine! That's enough, Steve. You can share my Boom Boom Basher. OK, then. But I get first go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Go, Boom Boom Basher! Go, go, go! Take that! Just to eat! 
Shot him! Don't be horrid, Henry. Look, it's a chicken. Oh. And I was at work when you were at school. Oh. Suspect has alibi. Maybe Mr. Kill left home. You're always throwing him around and stamping on him. Mr. Kill would never leave me! Well then, look in your fort. Maybe you left him there. No! I didn't leave him. He was stolen. Mr. Kill, where are you? I'm in charge because it's my garden. Oh, but you're always in charge in my garden too. Well, somebody has to be in charge around here. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone who has a motive. Moody Margaret. She's always wanted to get me back. Is she going to be all right? She'll pull through. What are you doing to my dolly? You'll pay for this, Henry! Revenge and ransom. Two perfect motives. Moody Margaret kidnapped Mr. Kill. Well, what's wrong with being second in command? It's not first in command, is it? Ah, oh, yes, but it's better than being third in command, believe me. Oh, no! They're burying Mr. Kill! Oh, we could both be first in command. That's a stupid idea. Oh, that's it. I'm going home. This, Mr. Kill. What are you doing to my time capsule? Time capsule? Yes, it's supposed to stay buried for a thousand years. I was looking for Mr. Kill. You took him. I wouldn't want your smelly old Mr. Kill. Now get out, you're trespassing. But someone stole Mr. Kill. Good. Maybe he'll have someone nicer than you. You to play with. One, two, the me! Ah! Oh! I'll get you, Henry! Innocent. So who wants to get back at me more than Margaret? Of course! My goody goody two shoes wormy little brother! Where has the worm put him? I'll do all my homework after I've cleaned my cello, Mum. <gasps> Look at all this mess! Mum! You did it! You stole Mr Kill! You've been waiting to get back at me. For what? Everything! First prize in the sandcastle competition if you haven't started blubbering. Mum! And that's not all. What a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky. The birds tweeting softly as their wings flutter. Ah! Not even a thank you for that flying lesson. Oh, and what about your birthday? <coughs> Snivelling toad. So, where is Mr. Kill? Mom. Silence, worm. Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll have to use force. No! <laughs> no! Did anything but that? What have you done with Mr. Kill? I haven't touched him. <laughs> Choice. Mr. Kill? Please, I don't know. Last chance. <gasps> what have you done? Tell them, Peter. Confess. Not Peter.
Peter, you, Henry. Me? He's the thief. He took Mr. Kill. No, he didn't. I know he didn't. Well, who did then? I did. Of course. I should have known. You cleaned my room, didn't you? That's when you took him. And I know why you took him too. Because you want to blackmail me into being good like Peter. That's it. I have had enough. Hey, this is my investigation. Let me go. Let me go. There's Mr Kill. No one stole him. I washed him because he was smelly. Oh. How could you accuse me of stealing your teddy bear, Henry? And how could you accuse your little brother too? And your father. And me. You, young man, are going to stay in your room for the rest of the day. What? And you can pay for poor Peter's cello strings with your pocket money. Now go straight to bed. What about Mr Kill? He's staying right there.